Hi, Sky Sullivan here, and welcome back to my dad's channel. Champagne party poppers. They're a mainstay at birthday parties, New Year celebrations, and weddings, and so forth. Everybody's familiar with these. I think they're a little underpowered. They leave a lot to be desired for pyros like us. I think we can soup them up. What do you think? Yep. Okay, so I got some black powder. This is kind of my rocket speed formula. 60% potassium nitrate, 30% charcoal, 10% sulfur. We got some gun cotton here. We got our party poppers. We're going to soup these bad boys up. So inside your party popper, you have cardboard outer seal with confetti on the inside. But within that, are you going to rip it open? Might as well. Okay, we got plenty. So you can rip one open and just if you want to check out what that igniter looks like. So we have our uh, our inner cardboard which separates it. I guess what you would call a combustion chamber and inside that it's just empty with one of these this pull string igniter I don't really know how these pull string igniters work yet but I'm gonna work on trying to recreate those but so here is an empty champagne party popper with only the igniter inside so how should we suit this up Let's try one with a big wad of gun cotton. So we're going to insert this gun cotton right up against that igniter. And let's just fill it back full of confetti. Make it easier to use this. Yeah, that when it's broken up already, it may even fly forward. Sometimes these things are kind of weak when they come out. So I'm going to pop that back in there. We need to um, identify which ones are which. So one party popper souped up with gun cotton. So mark that one gun cotton. We got the pull string igniter. I set off one of these pull string igniters in my hand one time. It hurt. It's done. <clears throat> Alright, so let's take apart another one. All right, another empty champagne. Let's try gunpowder. I don't have much, uh, uh, actually black powder, not gunpowder. I don't have much black powder left. I'm not even sure if that's going to ignite either, so don't use a whole lot of it because I don't want to waste it if it won't ignite. Let me see what you got in there. Oh, we can put more than that in there. <laughs> All right. I think we should put, um, see that second rim in there? I think we should put the cardboard back in that rim so that that, um, that gunpowder doesn't go falling everywhere. Let's do one with both. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to disassemble another champagne party popper. Alright, go ahead and mark that one BP for black powder. Because they're all green, we'll mix them up if we don't keep track of which is which. Okay, let's try this. Let's um let's take some gun cotton. Here, take the gun cotton, put it in with the black powder. Here, put the cap on it and then agitate that quite a bit so we get that gun cotton soaked up with black powder. <laughs> right, when you take the lid off, do it slowly so you don't get like black powder dust everywhere. Alright, use that. 
and then show that to the camera good. So we have now, we have a piece of gun cotton thoroughly dusted with black powder. So that's going to go inside of this one. Kind of reminds me of steel. Let's add some more. Let's add some more on top. All right, so now it's, let's see if we can cram a little bit of confetti in there first too. Now it's really full. <laughs> Crazy. That one's gonna be insane. Alright, let's test what we have so far. See what we got. Alright, here's our gun cotton souped up party popper. Safety first, people. Be careful. We don't know what's gonna happen. We never tried this before, so. Whoa! Okay, party popper plus black powder. We'll see what happens. <laughs> well, that was a dud. <laughs> Apparently, the igniter happened too quickly. It didn't build up enough heat to ignite the black powder. So, now we've got a maraca. And we'll save that black powder. Okay, black powder plus gun cotton. I think this one's going to work because what's going to happen is we know that the um, party popper igniter will ignite gun cotton, but I don't think it created enough heat to set off that um, black powder. So what's going to happen is we're going to have a chain reaction. We're going to get igniter, gun cotton, black powder. That's what I'm talking about. That was awesome. Sparks, smoke, fire, all good things. Our black powder and gun cotton combination was the best so far. So let's make another one of those. Let's make a couple more and see what happens. Well, maybe we'll make them a little stronger, a little bit more gun cotton. My son likes to go over the top, so he'll really pack it crazily full. <laughs> Disassemble another one there. That gun cotton absorbs that black powder dust. That's awesome. Let me see how much you got there. I'm gonna make mine slightly bigger than yours. We're not gonna have any room. <laughs> We're gonna have any room for any confetti, but who needs confetti when you got sparks and smoke and fire? All right, that's a stupid, ludicrous amount of gun cotton soaked in black powder, absorbed in black powder. Okay, this one's filled to the top. There's no room for any black powder chunks in there. Mine. I gotta get my ball mill working because I'm just about out of my homemade black powder. Ah, go with some more. We're gonna let's just skip the confetti altogether. That's right. Alright, so that one is another one kind of like we just made. This one has got like a ludicrous amount of, of gun cotton in it. Let's go see what those look like. This is the last one that we did, or well, the best one that worked last time, which is filled with gun cotton and black powder chunks. Alright, fire in the hole.
<laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Keep your safety gear on because this one has what I call a ludicrous amount of, of gun cotton in it. No black powder chunks, but that gun cotton has been dusted with black powder. Nice. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. If you liked it, please click like. If you think a friend might like to check it out, then please share it. If you got comments, questions, suggestions, they go below. And if you'd like to see what we try next, then please subscribe. But only if you think we earned it.